Got that in just under the wire. I banged my elbow on the thing and it hurts. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to adjust this camera while that intro was rolling. I, at, I yanked it on the thing. Ugh, we call it the anyway. funny bone, but it's really not. Yeah, it's not that funny. Yeah. No, it's really not. How's it going? Yeah. What did Microsoft change on their education plans? Because why not? Oh, man. So I don't, this is something I never really understood well, but they have something called, I'm oh, sorry, I'm in the middle of posting something, so it's all screwed up. So micro, I don't know what the previous allotment was. I, I'm going to guess and probably state almost emphatically that Microsoft 365 for Education had per user storage allotments. Now they're having like what they call per tenant storage mm-hmm. allotments, meaning like the, or, you know, the school or organization, that kind of thing. So, um, the idea, you know, they kind of couch it like, um, oh, it's just for security reasons. It's like, no, it's because it takes up a lot of space, <laughs> you know, it's mm-hmm. just like, so it's a hundred terabytes of free pooled storage across, uh, whatever the offering is. Right. So depending on what they are, the, the other thing, I just never heard of this. There was something, Microsoft had something called, well, they have today something called office 365, a one, and Office 365 A1 Plus. Both these programs are free for uh, schools that qualify. Uh, the A1 version gives you the, you know, the web-based versions of the Office apps. The A1 Plus version actually gives you today free versions of the desktop suite, right, per student or whatever and mm-hmm. teacher. Uh, they're getting rid of A1 Plus. And so basically, A1 Plus is going away. A1 continues. So there's no more free store, you know, no more free um, suite. Uh, you know, native apps. And in keeping with the changes to Microsoft 365 Education, those on a 365A1 subscription will also have um, 100 terabytes of pooled, like shared storage, effective February 1, and a maximum of 100 gigabytes per user within that allotment. So that one's actually down i i'm guessing that was a terabyte per person before i'm gonna guess and it's you know they're just saying look not everyone you, most people aren't schools aren't using the storage it's just taking up space etc cetera, etc cetera. it's a cost so i don't know the stuff that uh, education used to get for free is getting less good i guess is the way to look at it there you go that's yeah you know, i don't have much on that too. i mean it's like eh, I, I, what, okay. yeah yeah it's kind of right I, I, uh, someone, I didn't look at this up and I, I'm just lazy about it, but someone said Google did something recently similar to this. And I think it, I, I think the key takeaway is schools are still going to get stuff for free. I mean, anyone who has gone to school knows that the technology used there is not usually that great. Uh, and so this is, I honestly, their offerings before were, if anything, a, you know, more than necessary. So maybe this is just a level set there. Got to keep it terrible in the schools. Sure. Here's something else that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to lay out a scenario for you. So okay. it's been posted across Reddit and a bunch of other sites that people are trying to use cloud gaming from Microsoft, as we all know. And especially if you're outside the country, they're actually seeing queue times now showing up. So it's not like you just get in. Times. Like, look, here's an image of one. Oh boy. oh boy yikes now this is like an extreme example somebody posted but it doesn't matter somebody hit this limit and whatever paul i have oh, a question I, that. I have a question yeah. for you we already know that through the cma whatever debacle that cloud gaming wasn't all that popular from what mm-hmm. microsoft told us quite literally yeah. do you have any reason to know why microsoft might be trying to free up gpu resources right now <laughs> just any <laughs> I wasn't sure where you were going, but I was going to make that same uh, leap. Yes, I there. Um, uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but there was just under ten billion dollars in the past quarter, I think, in spending on AI-based data center cloud mm-hmm. resources. Uh, that's going to continue through the fiscal year we're in, as you know, for the next year. In other words, at least, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's an experimental. Uh, service that is not very popular and is not used very much and isn't that great of an experience when you do use it, depending on the game you're playing, uh, maybe does not take precedent over the future of the company, yep. um, which requires expensive uh, yep. investments yep. and resources. Yep. I mean, through Microsoft's own words, they said the primary use for cloud gaming, which I agree with, is just demoing a game. Makes a lot of sense. You want to try a game, go play it instantly for three yeah. minutes, and you're like, yeah, I'll download this. When Redfall came out and was a disaster, I said this kind of is the proof 
point of Microsoft's Xbox strategy, which is this multi-tiered thing where in the past you'd go to a store, buy, send 60 bucks, get a disc, bring it home, laboriously install it on your Xbox, and then you'd start playing it. You'd be like, oh, okay, this game isn't that great. Maybe. Or maybe it's excellent. It doesn't matter. Um, game Pass is kind of neat because you get this monthly subscription thing. It's sort of like Netflix, but not really because you download. So you have to wait for the download, you know, mm -hmm. blah, 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 whatever. But you can at least get into a game and be like, yeah, I don't want this thing. I can delete it. It doesn't matter. I, I didn't buy it for 60 bucks. I mean, game streaming, game uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming is the, is the best case scenario for that kind of situation where you just stream it. And you look at it, and you're like, yep, this game is garbage, just like all the reviewers said. I don't need to think about this anymore. Yep. If it was good, you could download it as part of your subscription because you're already paying for that too. And if it was great and you thought you were going to play it beyond the point of time it would be in the subscription, you could just buy it at a discount because you get, you know, you get that as part of your subscription. So it's a good system, um, it's just but not it's not good, good as a standalone offering, right? Yeah, it's not good as a product, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to, Microsoft's not going to kill it because they'll just keep it running in sort of in its current state. But it's clear that they've taken yeah. a different direction about how to grow Xbox and to the tune of nearly $70 billion. Yeah, this came, uh, a lot of information about this in the FTC filing. Microsoft mm -hmm. used this as evidence. I should put air quotes around that. Evidence uh, for the CMA that their decision was wrong, meaning that their narrow definition of cloud gaming as a market is not correct. It's really just an ingredient of a broader market and a different offering and is not viable as a standalone business. We could look at Stadia as proof point of that and the fact that this thing is being used the way it is with Xbox. So, Which is kind of hilarious if you think about it in the UK because mm -hmm. now Microsoft's in the position of like, they have this thing that's not super popular. The UK wants them to I give know. it to somebody else to run. It's like, you want us to get rid of something that's not making us money, to give yep. it to somebody else so they have to sell it and deal with that burden. It's like that almost sounds okay. like okay. I mean, I you know, perfect. That's one way to support the uh, UK economy, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. It's like here, you take this thing that doesn't make us money, and now you're responsible for it and uh, make us money. What's going to happen is these companies no one's ever heard of, like Boosteroid and whatever the other mm -hmm. ones are, are going to probably go to business. You know, what was the? Mm -hmm. Remember the big? There was uh, a short-term big deal game streaming thing years ago. Do you remember the name of it? Oh um, gosh, I know what you're talking about. They eventually switched to just streaming like Windows desktops from the cloud because yes. that's actually they had the infrastructure in place for that. But um, I don't remember. Anyway, I, on play, maybe? yeah, something like that. Um, I think that was it. They're gonna, and whatever on whatever it was called and and Stadia. I mean, they've all kind of run into the same issue, which is basically physics mm -hmm. and, and reality. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, you know, it just doesn't game streaming. For some percentage of games, just doesn't work. You know, it's okay. It's probably okay for some things, but yeah. But I mean, it's I think... it's not it's not going to be a huge business, at least currently for Microsoft. So, anyways, no. keep eating those GPUs up by the GPTs. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have to uh, split the baby in half or whatever you want to call this decision, well, you know, like the was it like a Solomon thing or whatever no, it was. I, I know. I... Um, well, you know, you have a choice. Like you can, you can expend resources on one of these things. I mean, like which one is more important when you have to make this kind of horrible decision? Uh, obviously game streaming, the smallest part of the Xbox empire is going to take a backseat to AI, which is the future of the company. So sorry. Yeah. Not a, not a hard thing to make. Uh, also if anybody's got extra time on their hands and you're just doing mm -hmm. nothing, Microsoft has kicked off a bug bash. So if you want to do work for no payment, uh, you can file bugs on Microsoft's behalf on Windows. Bug bash for Windows, for Windows 11. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we like to bash Windows 11 for the bugs. That's a good name. I'm here all week, folks. Sorry. <laughs>